If you're someone that finds it difficult to visualize, maybe you don't enjoy affirming, but you love pen and paper, you love paper products like I do, then scripting is the way you want to go with manifestation. And if you want to be able to create your most desired life through scripting, you're going to want to watch this video. Hello, my fellow flawless, limitless, sexy, sassy, saucy, HBICs. How are you on this lovely morning, afternoon, or evening? How are you all? I hope you are all choosing to be the versions of yourself that has your manifestations. I surely, surely hope you all are. We have no excuses not to. We have no excuses. Today... We are going to go back to a topic that I myself have made several videos on, but I've been getting a lot of questions on this again lately. It's also been coming up in my coaching calls. So I know I always take that as I need to make a content. I need to make a video on it because if it's coming up, it wants to be talked about. You know what I'm saying? That's how I see things. So on this lovely day, I do have a friend you know, I do have, what do you call it? A sidekick. And that's my dog, Poop. Actually, her name's Trinity, if you're new here. Her name's Trinity. But she only answers to Poop because I used to call her Poopsie. Like, come here, Poopsie. And now she, she only answers to Poop. So I got my sidekick with me. She's bored to tears with me. So I'm going to talk to you guys and hopefully not bore you. Let me just jump in with some basic bitch. If you need help. Figuring out what's going on between a you and your manifestation. Please feel free to email me at manifestingwithkimberly at gmail.com. All of my coaching options are in the drop box below. They're in the screens that just went by. I have two channel memberships. I have the Exclusive Lives channel membership, and that is the group that I go live with every single Tuesday at 9.30 p.m.-ish Eastern Standard Time. That is a zhuzh group only. What I mean by that, if you're new, zhuzh means uplift only. That's the group where we share success stories, manifestation success stories, tips and tricks. And let me just say that the success stories in this channel membership are amping up. I've been saying it in my videos lately, but I mean it every week. There are so many successes to share that sometimes there's not even enough time for me to talk or even to get my own two cents in. So, and I'm loving every second of that. I am so happy for my channel members. Oh my God, nothing excites me more as one of my fellow HBICs, again, if you're new here. That means head bitch, boy, badass, boss, in charge of your reality. And nothing excites me more, you know, besides me getting what I want, uh, is my, my HBICs, my fellow HBICs getting their shit. I get so excited. I get judged. That's that group. We don't talk specific circumstances. If you want to ask me a question about your specific circumstance, about what's going on with you, or if you just want a taste of what a real one-on-one -on -one coaching session could kind of look like, you want to join the hot seat group. The hot seat, I go live with them every single Friday at 9 a.m. ish Eastern Standard Time in that group. Like I just said, you can get in the hot seat and ask me absolutely anything you want. That group is the trigger warning group because if you are triggered by other people's circumstances, you're not going to want to join that one, okay? But if that is something that interests you, if you join the Friday group, you have access to both channel memberships. It's a two for one. I have TikTok. I have Instagram. If you are new here, I would love for you to subscribe and come back and see me. If you're obsessed with getting what you want, just like I am, then you want to hang out with me more, man. So subscribe. And uh, to everyone, if you could give the video a like so it could get out to newcoming HBICs. Everyone, need, everyone needs to know about manifestation. Everyone does. Everyone needs to know that you can change your life 
through manifestation. And lastly, if um, you're enjoying my personality, if you can handle hanging out with me, you might want to join me over at my other channel, which is called Kimberly's Other Life. My God, so many of you have come over lately within the last two weeks. Thank you so much. Listen, I know you're taking time out of your day to hit that subscribe button and come all the way over there. And I do appreciate it. It makes me feel good. You guys want to hang with me. Okay, enough of the selling myself shit. Let's get to the video. So, scripting. Scripting. If scripting is a term you've never heard before, scripting in the manifestation community simply means writing out what it is you're manifesting, right? There's no real, pure, only one way to script to manifest, okay? So if you are someone that simply wants to write out your affirmations, well, you go right ahead and do that. But I know some people out there misunderstand scripting. And, you know, just in one of my coaching calls the other day, I had someone say, you know, I really don't like scripting because it seems kind of, you know, boring to write my I am statements over and over again. And I quickly let my girl know that no, 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 no. That's one way of doing scripting. But scripting, to be clear, is just like anything else with manifestation. You make the rules. You decide how to script. How I discovered that was I didn't like what was out there in the community regarding writing down things. Now, granted, this was not the law of assumption of community at the time. It didn't exist. At the time, all there was was law of attraction channels. And the law of attraction community would discuss writing things down with specific methods like the 369 method. No judgment if you like that. Okay, but yeah, it's not necessary. Or the 55 by 5, 33 by 3 method. Yeah, I've done them and they suck. They feel like a job and nothing in manifestation should ever feel like a part-time job. So if you are the type of person that enjoys paper products, you enjoy pens, or you just enjoy journaling as a whole, scripting could be your absolute pathway or gateway to getting whatever you want. I will tell you, that up until my final understanding of what states of consciousness means and what it really means up in here, I was a full-blown scripter. So the early days in my journey, you know, again, all I had ever heard of was the law of attraction idea of scripting, and I didn't like it. And it happened to be that one of the days that I was in the midst of doing my 55 by 5, and I realized I'd forgotten to script my 55 affirmations the day before, and I was having an utmost meltdown over it because I thought, oh my God, now I got to start over because if you miss a day, it doesn't work. Yes, there was a video out there. I forgot who recorded it way back in, but the, you friggin' said it in the video that if you missed a day, that doesn't count. You got to start over. So I was like, oh my God. I Number one, I was so sick of writing the same thing over and over and over again. I was not paying attention to what I was writing. I was, my mind was in another planet thinking about other things as I was writing the same words. Oh my God, the shortcuts I would take <laughs> to get out of the 55 by five. Literally, I would put dittos, ditto marks. Oh, I can't stand feeling restricted or feeling like I got to do something. I don't like that unless it's something I want to do. You know what I mean? So it was in the midst of one of those meltdowns of mine getting so frustrated that I missed the day that I said, that's it. That is it. I am not going to do these stupid methods anymore. And I am just going to write down what I want. And I'm going to write it down like I already have it. Because in my mind, now, in this part of my journey, I was discovering pieces, pieces of Law of Assumption, pieces of Neville Goddard. I was, I was discovering, so I was very new to the Law of Assumption freedom thinking. So I said, that's it. I'm going to write whatever I want. And in my mind back then, if I would write in present or past tense, it made me feel like that was good enough to be living in the end. 
that was my own idea. And because I believed that, you know what the rules are with the law of assumption. What you believe to be true will be true. So it was true for me because I believed that. But we are not limited to what tense we can write in. But that was the beginning of my journey. And I began daily scripting. Now, don't hear that and assume you have to script every day if you don't want to. That's not what I mean. But that's what I did. Because I was someone who was unaware at the time that I had ADHD my whole life. I just didn't know it. I just thought I would as a cuckoo broad. Yeah, I just thought it was weird because I had so many quirks. Well, well, now I know why. However, back then, I would have a lot of anxiety. And I was manifesting, you know, an SP. And during that time, anytime he farted sideways... I was a hot mess express filled with anxiety. And I discovered that sitting down with my pen and paper got rid of the anxiety. Now, did it eliminate it perfectly? No, I would still have a little nervous rumblings, but it this was the thing that seemed to center me. So not only is it a, an amazing manifestation technique, it also helps with calming and centering yourself. So again, if you like journaling, you like pen and paper, you're going to love scripting. Now, why does scripting work? Scripting works because as you are writing, and again, you are writing from a place of total freedom. You can write down whatever you want. So if you are someone that prefers structure, you're probably going to enjoy writing out your affirmations. But it's not a necessity. You can also just write out a scene, right? Some of us are not great visualizers. Even though we think in pictures, it, it feels like a task trying to force myself to stay on one visual. Well, but putting on paper felt different. Even though I was still seeing a picture that I didn't realize I was seeing a picture of, Putting it on paper took the pressure of trying to do a perfect technique. It felt freeing. So I would start writing whatever I felt like. And I will say, in the early days, my scripting journals were full of SP content. A lot of, you know, SPs head over heels in love with me. He's going to spend the rest of his life with me. Can't get enough with me. We spend it every day together. All that kind of stuff. And that's fine, too. By the way, he could write whatever you want. And eventually I started, you know, dabbling with writing down other subject areas of my life, like my money life, my career life. I moved on and along, but I hopped back and forth. There were literally, there's no rules to this. So if you're someone like me who hops all over the place because your attention goes all over the place, this is a great way for you to get yourself focused. It's also very ADHD friendly in my opinion because if you are not putting the restriction on yourself that you have to stay in one category or you must write down a specific category a certain amount of times or it won't work, when you throw out all the rules and realize this is a freedom mind dump, it's a mind dump, you can literally, as I was starting to say, script out a scene, a scene, as in, let's say you're manifesting a specific person. You could write down what a day in the life of you spending that day with a specific person from the standpoint that you've manifested this person and now it's a normal part of your life to be with this person daily. You could just choose a day. I don't know, you guys went apple picking together. So you write the scene out, whatever comes to your mind. If it feels good, go ahead and write it. And I started doing that and I did it every single day. And guess what? I manifested quite successfully through scripting alone. Meaning in the early days of my journey, honestly, the first couple years of my manifestate law of assumption manifestation journey, all I did was script. I was not spending the rest of my day doing all different techniques. I, that just wasn't the that just wasn't the kind of person I was. I don't like feeling restricted. So I allowed myself the freedom to write down whatever I wanted. And what I wrote down always implied 
that I have my manifestation. I have what I want. And again, this works because as you are allowing yourself the freedom to think about whatever you want in terms of you having your manifestation, you're putting it on paper, but what it's doing at the same time is it is utilizing your imagination and it is immersing you into the reality of you being the you that has the manifestation. So let's say again, you're manifesting a specific person. You just scripted out a day in the life apple picking with your specific person. You, you could write as simple things like, you know, we were walking through the apple orchard and SP reached over and took my hand. He was holding my hand so sweetly. He picked up my hand and kissed it. And then we went on and we picked more apples. Like I'm, I'm being a little sarcastic, but I'm being serious. You could literally write that down. And not only will that probably manifest, and not only will you uh, most likely experience a similar scene in your real 3D because of this, you're getting into the imagination again. And that's the key to manifestation. It's getting in to the imagination. Man's imagination is the man himself. And the world as imagination sees it is the real world. That's from Neville Goddard. And what does that mean? That means the real you, the real powerful you, the real part of you that is the God connection or the universe connection, depending on what you believe in, your consciousness, you getting into that imagination and being able to immerse yourself into a scene or just in thought of I'm with my specific person. That person is my boyfriend or my husband. While you're writing down, you are immersing your focus, your attention, your awareness on your imagination, which is therefore because the imagination, everyone's imagination is the true reality. And yes, you have access to infinite realities. So when you put your attention or focus on a specific moment, such as you and SP being together, you are, whether you feel like it or believe this or not, you jump to that reality as you are scripting. Now, I know the logical mind is probably saying, well, if that was true, then why wasn't I like instantly in the apple orchard with my SP, Kim? Well, because you instantly go to that reality, but the reality is in the midst of unfolding to bring you that full manifestation. And don't get me wrong. Don't feel like you have to write down a scene if that's not your thing, if you're just someone that just wants to keep writing down how you are the version of yourself that's living her best life, you know, you're a multimillionaire, your health is perfect, you love the way you look, you know, you could even start describing yourself like, you know, I have nothing but thick, beautiful hair. Everyone tells me how pretty my eyes are. I am in total love with myself. I finally love my appearance. I love everything about me. I'm so magnetic. Write it down. Total freedom in what you write. I really want you to hear me on that. It's total damn freedom. So because this scripting immerses you into your imagination, that sincerely is really no different than having an inner conversation, which by the way, you could write down you and SP having a conversation. That is no different than having the inner conversation in, in just your mind or your imagination. It's no different. If anything, scripting, why I personally believe why it is so powerful, because it completely, it completely puts all your awareness on your focused thought. Do you see what I'm saying? So this is like you affirming. This is like you having an inner conversation. This is like you visualizing. It's like you embodying, embodying the version of yourself that is living the life that you're writing down on paper. So scripting, is it powerful? Oh my God, yes. 
Does scripting actually work? Will it actually manifest what you write down? Yes. I'm talking from personal experience. I mean it when I say the first few years of my journey was nothing but scripting. That's all I did to manifest. And I have manifested some amazing things like being invited to be on the, you know, the panel at Epics and Chill last year. That was something I scripted. Um, sitting in a green room with all these different celebrities as, you know, literally I was one of them per se. Although I, that's not what I think about myself, but I was one of them. I was someone there invited to be there. So I'm saying that when I first scripted that, I didn't think it was going to happen. I didn't think it was going to come true. I'm a human. I have my doubtful thoughts, but I wrote it down. I immersed myself in my imagination. And by the way, I didn't put the pressure on myself to make sure whatever I'm writing down, I'm fully so strongly focused on it so it must manifest. No, no. Don't put the pressure of trying to follow rules. This is supposed to be a fun, enjoyable experience. The difference is that as you're enjoying yourself as you're writing, it's transporting you. It's moving you to your desired reality. Another way of saying that is to your desired state of consciousness. And another way of saying that is the version of you that has the manifestation. And this is why Neville Goddard, he, he also mentioned, this is not a direct quote, but it is the returning to the desired state or returning to your version of self. The returning is what makes that new state of consciousness or that new version of self feel natural to you, which means therefore very easy for you to choose, for you to return to, for you to get into the reality of that state or version of self. Scripting changed my life. Point blank, period. Scripting is still something that I do at least once or twice a month because I enjoy it. I enjoy it. I just don't have the time to do it every single day anymore. And again, I am someone that doesn't want to feel like I have to do this manifestation technique or I can't get what I want. No. No, I make the decision of who I am every single day. The first thing I do when I wake up in the morning is decide who I am and who I am being. And remember, if you are someone new just watching this video, manifestation, all of it, every single technique is just getting you to feel more natural as your new version of self. Because as you are stepping into that new version of self, that is the other way of saying getting into that desired state or the state of the wish fulfilled, that is what manifestation is. It is changing self to therefore experience whatever we want in the 3D. This scripting, in my opinion, is a mindless, mindless as in no pressure, no rules, actual fun. It's a mindless way to get you into the reality where you finally experience your dreams, your desires. It changed my life. I know it can change yours too. Start writing. And listen, your little scripting journal does not have to be anything specific. For example, and yeah, right now I'm using two scripting journals for what it's worth. And by journal, I, I use that term loosely, okay? Number one, if you're a paper product lover, you know, I'm sure you're going to enjoy going out and having to pick up a new paper product to script your new life in, right? But it can also be, you know, just a notebook. For, for example, I've got two going right now. This was a gift from one of my HBICs, Nicole Batch, Limitless Queen, AKA Limitless Queen. She sent me this one, thank you very much. And she wrote this on there, which I highly appreciate. And I was in the mood to script one day and I was upstairs. Uh, I had just finished a coaching call and I was in the mood to script. And I had just brought upstairs the, the, some gifts I had received from subscribers. I love you all, thank you so much for sending me things. And this was up there and I had the pen I was using while I was on my coaching call. So I started scripting in this, knowing I needed to finish this one. I'm almost done with it. This is from the movie Anchorman. Thank you very much. Uh, so I got two going. I'm working on finishing this one so I could continue in this one. But I love it. I want you to see 
Scripting is just another way of you. Not only is it another way of you choosing which version of self you want to be, which that is what manifesting is. It is also, and I want you to look at it this way, it's you designing your own future. Even though the, the, everything's happening right now, there's not a real future. You know what I'm saying? Time's not linear. But in thinking of 3D muggle thinking, like the future, it's a way of you personally designing it, personally adding the little touches to your new life, your new designed life. And yes, designed, designed by you. And how are we designing and choosing what we want our life to be, what we want to experience, what we want it to look like? We're doing it through our imagination. So get it on paper. Start writing today. Start writing down who you want to be and what you want your life to look like. And yes, you can script in any tense you want. If you want to script in past tense, present tense, or future tense, that's perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. There is no rules. When it comes to manifestation, there's no rules. There really isn't. You are making them, and you are really deciding what's going to work for you and what's not. So, if you like the paper products and you like the pens and you enjoy writing, start writing. Start writing today. Design your life. Choose who you want to be. And also, if you are someone that prefers to type or to type like this, if you prefer it, scripting can also be done electronically. Number one, they, they make products now that you can write on your, what's it called? tablet? Is it tablet? iPad? <laughs> you can write on an iPad now, or you could type it in your phone's little notes application. That's perfectly fine. That's still you immersing into your imagination. Thank you very much. So who do you want to be? What do you want your life to look like? Write it down and know that for every moment you are writing down your new desired self, your new desired life, your new desired reality, the reality where you have all of your desires, just know that you are in that moment completely and utterly embodying that new version of yourself and your ass is hopping to that reality. So get busy. Go script your dreams. And on that note, I'll see you tomorrow.